Larry in Hollywood. Larry? Good evening, sir. It's an honor to talk to you and an honor to speak to your audience for a moment. Um, my question has uh, regard to what I consider to be the big 800-pound gorilla in the room that nobody seems willing to address, and that's the idea of malpractice. Um, if there is a government program, will we retain the right to sue? And if we do, is not that opening the unlimited pockets of the federal government? Larry, let me answer that. It, it, we don't know yet because they haven't shown us the bill. Sovereign immunity would have to be waived in the provisions of it if a government plan were denied service in the way that insurance plans right now are liable. Look, I'm a lawyer, and the best cases that walk in the door are legitimate cases for the wrongful denial of coverage. I mean, someone calls me up and says, Hugh, represent me. I've been denied, uh, uh, wrongfully denied a service that I paid for by an insurance company, those are amazingly important claims if they're true, if they're valid. And I don't think the federal government's going to permit those against the government plan because they're, when you when you are wrongfully denied coverage, huge awards result, huge awards result. And as a result, I don't see the government allowing you the same rights that uh, you know a private plaintiff coming into my office saying I want to sue a private insurance company would have. I got to clear up one thing. Uh, Earl, I, I should know better than to try and explain wrongful denial of coverage in about two minutes because the emails are full of what's that mean? Uh, here's the brief. Uh, lawyers know what that means. My law firm doesn't do a lot of plaintiff's work. We represent some people in medical malpractice, and we, we will always look at a wrongful denial of coverage claim because those are powerfully bad torts by health insurance companies. And I'm sure you, you've heard some of the health, the, the worst stories. If someone is denied by a, an insurance company, uh, the coverage they are owed, and they can, as a result, say, get a, a bone marrow transplant and they die, their family can and ought to sue the insurance company for denying the life-saving treatment. It's a tort. It's wrong. If you paid for health insurance and you don't get coverage and you die or you're hurt as a result of it, that insurance company has killed you. And, and those are cases we'll bring. And, uh, and and so we always look at those. It's just like we always look at medical malpractice. Lots of you send me emails and say, do you think I have a good case here? And I'll either send them to Joseph Timothy Cook or to my friend, the unblinking eye, or to my colleague Bill. And, you know, I'll send them out to people and say, what do you think? And, you know, people better more time, and we'll look at it. But if the government's running health insurance, the question will be, does it matter? They have to consent to be sued. If an insurance company screws you, you can sue them, and if they hurt you, you'll win. If a doctor hurts you, you'll win. Damages might not be high, depends on the caps, but you'll win. It's not the government. If the if the government hurts you or a government employee hurts you and they say you can't sue us, you can't sue them. Understand that. 